It's because I don't really, honestly, I kind of think the golf workout stuff is just BS. I've never really believed in them. I've done them. I'm not going to say that they're BS and I've never even tried them. Yeah, we're in uh, Hogan's home gym here in his little garage. This Pretty guys. sweet setup, honestly. It's a quarantine spot. Quarantine gym, yeah. What's up everyone? Got a couple comments in the last video about me working out. I really didn't want to post the video that was already made, and so instead I'm just gonna make a new video, kind of basically talking about what I was gonna talk about. Here with my boy, Hogan. What's up? You might have seen him in uh, one of the really older videos. Back in the day when I didn't work out. Got, <laughs> yeah, got his brother here on the camera. I'm gonna be talking about kind of what I'm doing for my workouts. It's gonna be different than what a lot of people do for their golf workouts, but you'll hear about more of that uh, here in a little bit. Usually in my workouts, um, I'll usually start off with some sort of leg, so like squats or deadlifts or lunges. I'll even do with lunges with these with these barbells. So just because I feel like if I have like a dedicated leg day, I get so sore and I just don't want to do them again. But I know that comes with like if I do it more often, it'll get better. But instead of doing that, I just start off basically all my workouts with some sort of leg, so I don't get super sore, and I'm doing it more frequently, so I don't also get sore. So starting off with some squats here. Here we go. So that's another thing is that I don't really like doing the whole like low rep stuff. Yeah. I know that's more of the strength, but I don't really bring my ego to the gym. That's another thing that you guys, if you guys are doing stuff in the gym, I don't care what people think about what I'm lifting. I'm kind of in like the eight to 10, maybe six to 10 ramp range. There's a little bit of strength in there, but yeah, I just don't really think the risk reward is worth it with the uh, injury. Six reps, that's that's a little bit of volume, but you can still get a ton of strength out yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. I know Hogan here has got some freaking strong wheels. I'm kind of the opposite. But we're trying. <laughs> What's your top set gonna be? I mean, this is my working set here. Okay. Yeah, this is your warm up? Yeah. I just didn't know because you're freaking repping that 185 like there's nothing. <laughs> I don't know about that. But for me, like on my warm up sets, I don't know why, but because I would go for more for those like the strength aspect. Yeah, yeah. Like you're kind of in between yeah. volume and strength, yeah. which I like. I just don't hit it for that many. You're, you're more, yeah, lower reps. So, like, so I think maybe you guys saw in that practice video that I wasn't doing the traditional golf workouts. I also gave the quotation on the golf workouts because I don't really, honestly, I kind of think the golf workout stuff is just BS. I've never really believed in them. I've done them. I'm not going to say that, I'm, that they're BS and I've never even tried them. I've tried them and I've given it its fair shot, but <laughs> it's never really like made me hit it further. I mean, it's just it just hasn't like I wish I could say that this whole working out thing is is so that I can hit it further And that's the results that I've gotten from it But it, but I will say that what it has done is it's made my swing a little bit more compact a little bit more controlled I kind of just work out just because it's fun I think it's there's a thing called progressive overload which is basically like you're tearing down your muscle and it's recovering so that it can take more amount of effort again later in the future and so you kind of build on to what you've been working on so you're Essentially, you're moving weights up more and more, or it's reps, or um, cutting down your weight time or something, but progressive overload, just, it's just something that I thought was kind of fun when, you know, I was starting to work out when I was a freshman in college. I kind of hurt my right hand and started working out just because I was kind of bored when I was uh, recovering. Um, I actually I actually kind of thought I was going to quit golf at that point just because my right hand was hurting so much, but that was when I kind of start, started working out, and again, I wish I could say that it made me hit it further, but it really hasn't. Also, <laughs> on the same note, I think it's a little bit silly when I see some golfers like they go to the gym and they do like stretching only or like these weird like rotational band stuff only. It's like why why do that at the gym? You can just you can do that at home. Like what's what's the difference? Like these kinds of things where it's like Yeah. Like I don't feel anything, dude. I could literally do this all day. Like 
I don't know. I just see a bunch of golfers doing them like, <laughs> I just don't get it, man. No, no, no. It has never really done anything for me, so. Like, I, I, I want to come to the gym and actually lift some weight, so that's kind of why, I don't know. If I'm going to stretch and do some band stuff, I'll do that at home and, and go to the gym to lift, so. Also, I'm not saying this stuff to say that what I'm doing is right. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing. I almost don't even care if you guys think what I'm doing is wrong because, <laughs> again, I'm not really doing this for the golf. It's never really done anything golf-wise. I just think the workout thing is fun. Um, I just think going up in weight is fun, progressing in the weight, and I don't know. I just kind of got addicted to it when I was in like freshman in college and just kind of never really stopped. So, again, <laughs> not saying I'm right, not saying you should do the same thing, but yeah, this is the kind of the stuff I'm doing for my workouts. That's also why this past year what Bryson did in terms of like him gaining all that speed and putting all that size, putting all the size, that's whatever, but gaining all that speed in his golf swing. This is why I think what he did is just so incredible because I mean, it's not like with anything that you're trying to improve on, it's like a linear progression where you just keep getting better and better. It's not that way at all. It's a diminishing returns. If you, you start getting better and it kind of goes like this and starts leveling, leveling off where, you know, yeah, you're gonna try to get every inch you can, but what Bryson did to make that massive jump in his game in terms of his speed and his driving distance, I mean, that's crazy. I can already kind of <laughs> see it in the comments where like, oh, you should be doing golf workouts and this and that. It's like, you're kind of out of your mind if you think that I haven't tried these golf workout things to like try to improve my speed of course i have it's, it's like this is my job i'm gonna always look for things that try to make me better i've tried them just hasn't really do, done a whole lot in terms of distance that's another thing i realized whenever i started working out and doing squats and stuff like that like we we're talking about mobility like luke's saying that's one thing he needs to work on honestly me just doing these movements like squats my hips had to get more mobile it was just really important for me to take my ego out of it so on the way like to gaining all this strength I didn't get injured because that's like a huge setback. That could take like up to a year off of yeah, like yeah. off of time. Like that, on top of that, like that injury doesn't just go away. Like exactly. you're always gonna have that injury. Yeah, you definitely gotta learn like the. There's a lot of like technicalities with like lifting weights and stuff. So just an example I just have in my mind like. When you're squatting, you want the bar path to be vertical, deadlift, same thing, close to your shins, like like shoulders, whatever you're doing. Just trying to protect your joints because to me, again, like I don't care about my one rep max because the risk of me injuring myself versus the gain that I'm gonna get from squatting 10 pounds more, it's just not worth it. I don't wanna get injured. So, but at the same time, I'm really trying to move as much as I can and keeping the intensity up. Always challenging yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at the start of last year before my first season on the Corn Ferry Tour. Again, seeing what Bryson was doing, I was like, okay, I gotta try some, a little bit of what he's doing. I got some of those speed sticks and you know, went through the progression there. And I can probably say, yeah, I probably swung it a little bit faster. My max speed got up a little bit more, but I just started noticing myself like in my swing doing some weird things just to like gain some speed. Like for example, I would like use my wrists more at the bottom, trying to like whip the club just to make the reader say I'm swinging it faster. When I started looking at my swing on the golf course, I started seeing some like weird habits that was popping up in my swing. And if you look at my driving stats for the few events of Corn Ferry that I played, I mean, I was kind of spraying it like in this, and it's weird because usually tee shots are part of one of my strengths in my game. I mean, you can't really play well in China unless you're hitting it well off the tee box. So, you know, I think I want to say that Probably for the majority of people, trying to swing out of your shoes, you're probably gonna make it harder on yourself to play good golf versus actually gaining something. Meaning like, I think if a lot of people just stuck to what their game is and instead of chasing what Bryson's doing and you know, maybe not doing everything the right way like Bryson did, 
and just trying to gain speed, I almost think that's more detrimental to you than really helpful. So, you know, I, me and a couple other pros also think the same thing. It's like, I think this whole Bryson thing, gaining distance for other pros, not Bryson, I think might hurt more than really helps them. I mean, a great example of that is probably like Abe Answer, my buddy that, that I played with at OU for a year. He hasn't tried to like hit it out of his shoes. Like a five, eight guy, little guy that, you know, hits it pretty normal distance wise, but you know, he knows what the strength of his game is and he's not gonna try to waver right away from that. That's one of the things that he told me when you know, I asked him kind of what was his first few struggles kind of out on tour was he wavered away from what he knew he did well in his game. All right, so a little bit of a different video here. Just kind of sharing what I'm doing. Again, I'm not saying what I'm doing is right. I'm just kind of sharing what I'm doing. It's almost like this whole workout thing is a little bit like a, it's almost like a hobby almost. Ever since freshman, year of college at the D2 school that I was at I just kind of fell in love with lifting weights and and just tried to make it so that the working out doesn't get in the way of my golf and so you know <laughs> I wish I can stand here and tell you I'm doing this to hit the ball further and it makes me hit the ball further because it doesn't but if you guys like this video with me and Hogan and made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you guys have binge watched this at least like five of my videos what are you doing hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and I'll see y'all in the next one Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I was told a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below.